of the things I've been learning over the years is to find productive waters and eliminate those waters where fish aren't. We're salmon fishing, not that much different than trout fishing. We're trying to find the spots in this run right here where the salmon are going to hold. A good example, this cut right here, this nice V, when the salmon are coming up from the fast water, they're going to hold here and rest on the edges, behind rocks, in front of rocks, seams, anywhere where they can get out of the current. And that's where they're going to rest for a few minutes before they continue their journey. Trout do the same thing when they're looking for food. They want to be in the most efficient place where they have to expend the least amount of energy when they go out and get food. Have a look at some of these animations and this discussion of where fish hold and why. When searching for salmon, they'll often hold in the hydro cushion in front of large rocks and boulders. Of course, also cast as seams behind rocks and boulders as these are natural holding waters for fish. Ensure you cast to the tail of pools or runs. Sand will often lie there, resting after moving up river through rapids or heavy current. In this animation, you can clearly see how salmon will often hold tight to the bank. This is why stealth is so important when fishing on a small river like the Maine. Your guide will help direct your cast to where fish will hold and what the best presentation is. Oh, Ralph, this guy's just been jumped. Oh, look at that. Got it. Oh, wow. He hammered it. So I did what you told me, Ralph. The ripple, I, I, I used that thunder and lightning. Oh. Yep and put it past that rock. And what I did was I made 10 casts to the same spot, swinging it by, swinging yeah. it by with this riffling hitch until it aggravated enough that it took it. It finally took it after yeah. all those casts, eh? Yeah, and he just, boom. Pissed them off. Oh, look at that. Nice fresh fish too, looks yeah, he's bright. bright. Well, let's go up river. He's gonna jump again. Yeah, Most I think he's, he's, I think he's it's, I got his, Soon as I got him tired enough, I'll get his head up. Yep. And bring him right to you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's a leaper. Get his head up. Oh, we've uh, switched over to using wet flies and the world famous Portland hitch. Also referred to as a ruffling hitch. Okay, I'm gonna get his head up. You ready? No. There you go. All right. Whew. Persistence pays off. I did what Ralph told me, and I just basically agitated that fish into striking. Okay. You want to you release, yeah, you wanna, I, I, I you could, release him? Sure, if you don't mind. Yeah, you release him. And I, and I just show okay. him quickly to the camera. Yeah. Look at that beautiful fish. There he is. Beautiful Atlantic grills. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.